Where'd I go? Where am I? I can't even see. It's like I'm invisible because I have a killer suit. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Tiny is got a chieftain's hat on. We're going to do some cool stuff and things today. I'm definitely excited. We're going to start off by talking about some stuff while we build some apprenticed raptor saddles. Oh, wait, no. That's not what, that's not what we need at all. We need pteranodon saddles. I typed in PT into my bookshelf over here, and I was like, oh, we got exactly what we need. So do we not have pteranodon saddles? Are these both raptors? They are. All right. So we're going to start off today by learning the Pteranodon Saddle Engram. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. Really excited to be back doing some stuff and things. Also want to take a second, as I always do, to say thank you guys so much for all your likes and support on the previous videos. We had a really great time hanging out with Jobless Garrett yesterday, doing some funny stuff. We took the Penguin Army out. You guys really, really liked it. I had a really good time doing it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for showing your support. If you like the video, this video, don't forget to show your support as well. Hit the thumbs up button, peeps. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Let's go ahead and one, two. Wait, that's oh, we're owing it. Don't owe it. Oh, where does it go when we owe it? Where did you go? Oh, uh, they go inside? Hmm, that seems like a buggy bug. So if you drop something out of a vault, it appears. Um, hmm, okay. So let's go ahead and TT. So yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a great day. I got an idea for a few things that we can do today. We need, I think, three Tranodon saddles. See here, how many can we make? Three, nail the days you can't be stopped. So we got a couple of ideas of some stuff and things we're gonna do today. First thing is the reason why I'm building the Pteranodon saddles is because these guys got moved around a little bit and I don't feel like I want to, these guys down over here, and I don't want to have to like change saddles on them all the time. So I figured we'd just build a couple of these guys and get this out of the way and done today. Also today, I do believe we're going to play around with um, Building an extension onto some stuff and things upside of there, up there. You may be able to tell from the title of the video. I do believe what we're going to do is we're going to get to building a bedroom today, which is really exciting. Like, I, I think it's kind of cool. Whoa, no, that's wrong. Um, that we're going to be able to do... Do you really only have 105 health? Oh my god, guy. Get some health, homie. So we're going to do a bedroom. It's going to be really cool. I'm excited to um, start to kind of... Do some aesthetic stuff up there. And I think it's going to be really, really fun. All right, we'll get a thousand. We need more health than that. There you go, like so. So now we can at least take our egg guys and we can get them all back in a line again. Oh, he's all hurt because we gave him too much HP, Zors. So we have a little bit of building to do. I did some stuff and things off camera. I have a bunch of building materials, so we should be good to go with that. Something else that happened in the Slipgator universe is a lot of people have been asking for a couple of different t-shirt designs. A lot of people go to slipgator.spreadshirt.com. There's all sorts of t-shirts there that you can get, different stuff and things. If that's what you, if you like, if you want to get t-shirts there, that's where you go. But a lot of people said there needs to be a Nailed It ACK Be Stopped shirt. And during the, during the, um, what was it called? Oh yeah, the banner contest. Sorry, I got a little bit of a brain fart. During the banner contest, we had somebody submit a banner that really belonged as a t-shirt. And so it's a t-shirt. It's available on the shop now. You can go to subgator.spreadshirt.com. It's the first one. If you want to get into a Nailed It Ace to Shop Stop shirt, they're there. They're very cool. I wish I could get one in ARC. I think maybe I could paint it onto my chest. All right. Well, we solved one problem for today. The first thing, we've definitely got all of our guys in a row here. So something else that I wanted to do real quick. Let's... Oh, we got egg bait right over there. So um, I was talking to a couple guys on the server and they were saying you know a really great way to get your um over raptors to still be able to be like extra egg producing but not wander around is basically just to weight them down so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and take this guy well how much weight does he have we'll pump his hps a little bit there we go and then he has what 130 weight so like if we do that and then we go like this. And then we put him on Wander. It works! And let's see if he wanders. I'm going to say he probably won't wander because he's too overburdened. Which is perfect. He's not wandering. It's amazing! We've done it! Ladies and gentlemen, peeps, I can't believe it! 
So, let's actually take... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So, there he's burdened. He's too burdened to move. And we should be good to go, I think. I think he should be fine. So, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully, he will increase the egg-laying potential of our pteranodons, and it will be unbelievable. Okay. So, on to building bedroom stuff and things. I've been thinking a little bit about this. we got to start off by... Um, actually, you know what? I may not have learned any of these engrams since the last time I mind-wiped. we got to do pillar... We got to do wall. So we got the wooden wall right there. We're going to start off by building it out of wood. Um, actually, you know what? We probably should just build it out of thatch, which would probably, yeah, I think that's probably a great idea. We got a thatch wall. Okay, so let's close out of here and then take a look at what we've got as far in the, in the, in regards to building materials. Let's see how many building material stuff and things we've got and put all this stuff away because organization is key. Organization is key, peeps. All right, so let me see inside of here. How many pillars do we got? All right, only 17. We're going to need more of those. And then thatch walls. We have 41, which we probably may need more of those as well. So let's start off by getting some hot pillar action going over here, up in this piece. Wood, thatch, fiber. Let's go ahead and grab... Fiber. And... Bam, 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 bam. Craftables. Pillars. 26. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get some stuff and things made. Maybe do a couple of placements of stuff and things. And then I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. Oh, and you know what, guys? I can't remember if I mentioned it to you. I was talking about... No, I did in the video. These The cooker is going to eventually be able to be hooked up to a water source, which is really, 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 really cool. I'm really excited about that. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a thing. But for building today, the first thing I wanted to start off with was kind of making sure what we're going to do is we're going to build another raised, like, I'll, I'll show you. It's going to be like a raised platform type deal. So if we get our pillar out right here, it's really kind of hard to see. See how you can see the little green lines right there? So we're going to count one, two, three. I think we missed one. Let's start at the top. One, two, three, four, five. It starts to get janky. Six-ish. I think it's six pillars is what we're going to need. So we'll come up here. What I want to do is build a six pillar. Oh, that turret. Oh, that turret. Oh, that turret. Maybe we won't do it like that. Hmm. This is going to be super confusing. That turret is right in the way where a pillar would want to be. So I'm not sure about what we're going to do about that. Um, We may need to do a redesign of stuff. Gosh, I really don't want to have to break that turret. Um, we could build it one back, I guess, but I think that might be janky as this is like if we were to place this I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about as far as the jankiness If we were to place that it's gonna stick through the floor like that. That's yeah, that's not acceptable super duper ugly You know what we are gonna have to break the turret. There's just no other way to do it We're gonna have to break that turret and then it'll be better for our bedroom in general You know what else I want to do real quick? I want to count this to see if it's gonna be squarey. So oh right there maybe though Oh, yeah, we talked about that the other episode this might be a better spot. We might not need to break the turret because we can do it right here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, but that's of course that's bad. We want it to be five by five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we need it to be five by five. I guess we could go by five by six and have it be right here. So, all right, if we were to do this here, then this, this is going to be the spot. We'll do it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, like that. So then that's going to be where the foundations are on the top. That's going to be, that's going to be the bottom up uh, where that, where that ceiling would go right there. That's going to be the bottom of our bedroom. So then we would go a one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six, like a so. One, two, three, four. Wait, we can do it. Five, six, and then six more right here. One, two, three, four, five. Don't, 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 don't fall off the edge. Six. All right, nailed the nice cave. Stop. There's our stuff and things. The uh, the pillars. So that's gonna be where our extension is. I think this will turn out good. We'll make it turn out good. It's gonna be great. All right. So free water. And the next thing is actually thatch ceilings, of which I did not look. I grabbed a bunch of thatch walls, but I didn't grab a bunch of thatch ceilings. Let's take a look and see in here. Did I actually have any of those built as well? Let us find out. 
the... 34! <clears throat> 34. Nailed an ace to Cape Stomp. Let's pop it out of here. And then head back up over into here like so. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this from the ground. Let us see. Let's go ahead and we'll put the rest of these pillars onto Steve. And then we'll grab these guys like this. Oh, like from right here, we could probably place it. Let's see here. Oh, I can't get it. Okay, so that ain't gonna work. So next, the next trick that we do, we're gonna do a little bit of a flight around. We will unspeed up. And then right there, we'll stop. All right, now. Nailed it. Nailed it! There we go. Aced it. Can't be stopped. So now, if we're really agile... Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit scared here. I can't quite... Oh, there we go. We got it. I can't quite get over there. We can go like a so. Oh, 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 oh! I'm on his wing. Oh man, that was scary. All right, like this. And then, you know what we'll actually do? It'll make it a lot easier if we put that in our one slot. Like so. Oh man, we're killing it! Are we gonna have enough? Are you in the way, homie? You're in the way, homie! Coming to get on your neck, and then fly on you. And we'll take him up right here. And get a land, little landing action. All right, now I think that this is going to work. One, two, three, four, five. Huh, hmm, 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 hmm. All right, so the next part of this, we're going to start to... Hmm. Oh, man, you know what? Five might not be wide enough. What I want to do here is put a slip gator symbol inside of this, but it... Oh, crap. I think it's going to need to be seven wide in order for that to happen. So now that I'm thinking about it, because of the way, because arc, because arc is just different. It's just different in the way that stuff and things happens. We're probably going to have to extend this out a little bit. Um, yeah, because we're going to need to have basically, because what we're going to try to do here is do something like this. Now, we might not be able to. Oh, crap. We can't, can we? I wanted to put a slip gator symbol in the walls and have it be like um, the absence of walls. Have it that be the slip gator symbol. But it doesn't look like it can connect. Unless I do it like this, maybe. And then demolish underneath. No, it won't let me demolish underneath no matter what I do. Which I thought it would. You know what? Maybe we can make the slip gator symbol out of something different. Maybe we'll just have to use a different building material. Um... Yeah, so that's what I'm actually going to do now. What I want to do now is try to get basically a slip gator symbol on this wall somehow. Um, so I'm going to build some wood walls. I'm just kind of slowly talking because I'm thinking about it in my brain how it's going to work. I'm going to build some wooden walls and then come and replace some of these with wooden walls and see what I can make this look like. And we're back and we have a slip gator symbol kind of thing going on over here. You can see it. There's a little bit of a problem. Uh, and that is that from this angle on the inside, it looks um, it looks like a slip gator symbol. From this side, it, it does not. It looks like a something very close to a slip gator symbol, but not a slip gator -y symbol. So, it's just not something that we're going to be able to do. Now, I had a couple of ideas about how we're going to do this. And I thought about using a different building material. So, like, two different building materials. like one, And eventually, of course, this is all going to get turned into metal. So it's like, okay, so we could use, like, metal in one spot and then, like, thatch or wood in the other spot to make it look different. But then I thought, why not just paint it? Because, <laughs> like, we haven't really painted anything in the base yet, so we could just paint the base and paint the the what we want for the symbol. Uh, and You know what I mean? In the in the correct spots. So that's what I think that we're going to get end up doing. Uh, just going to go ahead and paint it. So that means really that we don't need to do this as far as make a mock-up. We just kind of got to build it. Well, like the mock-up is fine, but we don't need to mock up the slip gator symbol. Um, but I still do want to kind of do that uh, any hoozle just so that it looks a little bit better so we can get it kind of an idea in our minds 
but how this is going to be. So we can fix this quite easily, actually, like a so, and then, like a so, and then, like a so, and then, like a so. Nailed the day stick, can't be stopped. Now! The slip gator symbol, woohoo! All right, so we got our slip gator symbol wall going on there, and I think it's good. Now the top part, the, the this this top little barrier beam or whatever that is, um, hmm. So I can't decide whether I should take it down one or take it up one. Um, and I'm thinking, I love the size that it is just like that, but it looks wacky. You know what I mean? Um, and so I'm thinking. Maybe we'll go up one. Yeah, I think that's going to be what we're going to end up doing. So we're going to come over here like a so. And then we'll stop right here. And then can we get... Are you all, all the way over at the other edge there? So that's how high we're going to go. Let's go ahead and just take back. Take a step back. Don't look at the symbol. Just look at the height of the box. And let's take a look and kind of see how it looks in relation to the entire build. So kind of like in relation to the space between the bottom floor and the top floor and the top floor and the see what I'm saying? We want it to be like an even spacing of stuff and things. I think it's pretty even. The pillars, if you remember, we had six and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven, so it's a little bit taller, um, but I think it's a little bit better like this. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get a hatch in here. I'm going to get a ladder. Uh, I'm going to start to build out the rest of the walls, and probably when that's done, I'll leave the symbols up too, so you can kind of see what the finished product will look like. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to do that stuff, kind of just continue to develop the bedroom, and that will be our bees. And we're back. All right. I'm about to prepare. I'm about to prepare. I'm preparing to undertake one of the most amazing feats of agility and parkour tutedness ever. <laughs> oh no, I have, oh, I failed. All right, edit that out. <laughs> oh no, I failed again. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> what? Let me just, can, what, can we just walk over it? <laughs> we did it, the next can we stop? Except we keep getting, huh, huh. <laughs> quick, quick, get away. We did it, we did it, not in the way that we intended, but we did it, it's such as life, peeps. Sometimes you, things happen, you have a plan, but you, and you planned it, but that's just not the way it works. And you fall onto the wing, and then it boosts you up, and then you get over, and you are able to make your ceiling. Nailed the days to KB stuff. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, get these guys placed, like a so, like a so, like a so, and our mock-up will be complete. It'll be a complete mock-up. Nailed it! Ace it can't be stopped! Yes! We have a mock-up of a thing! It is our it is our bedroom box, and it's got a slip gator symbol on the side. Now we can't do a slip gator symbol on this side because it is six wide, um, and it needs to be five wide in order to do the slip gator symbol. Um, we could do the six. It has to be odd numbers, basically. It has to be odd numbers, or it's just not gonna look right. I mean, we could try it, but I want to put windows on the side anyway. That's why. That's one of the other reasons too. We got the two slip gator symbols. We want to have some windows in there as well. Um, and so this is the mock-up of it. Let us go inside and check out the internal spacedness, the tootly, uh, now the, the, how big it is. So, uh, whoop, whoop, up inside of here, like a so. And this is where our bedroom stuff and things will be. There will be a bed and there'll be like, uh, some tables and chairs and some storage chests and stuff and things in here. Like I said, we're going to put some windows in as well so we can see out. And I think that it turned out really, really cool. I think I'm excited about it. I think it's really great. I really am. I'm, I'm a little bit upset I couldn't do the the space. Like, I really wish that where the slipgator symbol is, there could just be no walls, um, and then that would be a space, like a big window. But it's not something that can happen. It just isn't something that we can do. So we're not gonna do it. Um, and yeah. But anywho, so let's go ahead. Let's fly away a little bit and just take a look. Now, envision in your mind. In your mind, what you think about thatch. Close your eyes. Listen. Close your eyes. When you think about thatch walls, think about metal walls. And when you think about wood walls, think about blue metal walls. Oh my God! Look at it. It looks amazing. Can you see it? Can you see it? Was it all metally? Oh, look at the blue symbol. The subgear symbol on the side. It looks so good and blue. Oh my God, it looks so amazing. So then now you have it exactly a picture of it in your mind of exactly what it's gonna look like. 
So yeah, I think it turned out really, really good. If you like it too, don't forget to um, show, show your support and hit the thumbs up button if you like the look of it. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm not sure yet. So I'm not sure what's next. We'll find out in a second. BRBs. And we're back. So I did the math real quick and I do believe we are going to need 24 pillars and 132 walls in order to complete the bedroom. So I'm gonna get working on that. I'm gonna do it off camera. We're not gonna do the rest of it today because I know I don't think I have enough, but um, enough materials, but I have been making off camera. I have been making materials. I've got one load of metal up at the mountain forge, which is over uh, here, there, there, and it's going ahead and cooking up right now. And then I've got this metal here. So we've got a little bit. There's not very much down below. <laughs> and um, I do have some cementing paste too, like 800, I think made up. So it's going to take a little bit. I'm going to put some of this up inside of here, actually. And we'll do like a mirror of what we have down below as well. So I know where all the stuff and things go. All right. So we've got the bedroom kind of complete. The mock-up is ready to rock. So we're good to go there. Now, something I didn't talk about. I did an over after episode, but we didn't really talk about the ghillie suit yet. And so I think that that's something that we want to play around with. So first things first, organization is key. Let's go ahead and get that over there. Nope, nope. This guy in here, this guy in here, like so. Then let's go ahead inside of here. Bam, 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 bam. We have some extra building materials. We'll squirt all of those in there like that. All right. So if we go into our engram points and we look at Gahili's suit, you have to learn the cloths and you have to learn, oh, you have to learn the hide pants, say, for instance, for the pants. And that means you have to learn the cloth pants and you got to do that for each piece. So it is 11, 22, uh, 35, 46. Gilly suit boots, 46, uh, 57 engram points. To learn the whole deal. So there we have all of our ghillie suit stuff and things. Now if we go into our craftables, what do we need here? Organic polymer. We must have organic polymer. Wow, that's interesting. So organic polymer actually is really inexpensive. And this ghillie suit, as you can see, strands of organic polymer causes to disperse heat and keep you cool. So this is like perfect Zuljan armor because he wears because he lives in the swamps. Now it has an armor level of 40. What do we got in here? Oh, it doesn't even say. Oh, yeah, I got it right there. Sorry. So this is the all the flak armor level two sixteen. That's crazy. Let's take a look at some hide something something inside of here. All right. So this is a uh, ramshackle. So it's much higher than normal. But as you can see, it's seventy seven hide. These are apprentice hide gloves. So it looks like the ghillie suits probably gives you better armor protection than hide. Um, you can see the max durability on all this hide, even though it is very nice as well. Um, I think the ghillie suit max durability is a little bit higher. So max durability 120. Now the hypothermic insulation, which would be for cold, I do believe, um, is bad. And the hyperthermic is is better. Wow, that seems a little bit weird. All of these pieces of hide have way better insulation. Well, 11. I mean, that's 10. Hmm. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. I'm not exactly sure, but it seems like that the hide is better for hyperthermic and hypothermic insulations, but perhaps it is not. Perhaps I'm reading it wrong, so that's fine. We'll just, we'll just, whatever. So let's go ahead and build some of the stuff. So we need what? Do we need to build it in a thing? No, it's right here, right? And then we just need hide, fiber, and organic polymers. So let us come over here, like a so. We'll grab this. Oh, wait. And we will grab this. And then we'll head over to the Northern Territory and get some organic polymer. And we're back with our organic polymer stuff and things. And let's go ahead and take a look over inside of here. Now we should be able to craft all the ghillies. Like this. One of these. One of these. One of these. Oh, baby, I'm so excited. I wonder what it's going to look like. I wonder how it's going to look. I bet it looks good with the with the cheating hat, too. I didn't notice in my cheeks. <laughs> Tiny jaw muscles uh, stick through the hat. So, but tiny big muscle head face. Ah. So let's go inside of here. Where'd I go? Where am I? I can't even see. It's like I'm invisible because I have a ghillie suit. Tiny looks hilarious. <laughs> tiny, tiny. Wait, watch this. Can't see me. I'm snaking the grass. I don't. I can't be seen by anyone. No one knows where I am. Where am I? You can't see me. Here I am. You couldn't see me because I was in my ghillie suit. I was super... I can't be seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually, you can kind of see. Still. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I can't see. I'm totally... I'm totally invisible. I can't be seen. Look. I can't even see myself. It's so amazing. 
All right, so this thing is pretty cool looking. Let's just take a look at the player model real quick. I love how it's not symmetrical. I think that's really, really neat. And it like covers your hands a little bit. That's really cool. It's got like something on the legs there. What are those things? I don't know. Oh, it makes my butt look big. That's, I like that. That's good. So uh, can we dye it? Yes, you can dye it kind of. And it's weird because it makes perfect yellow. I don't know why. Look at the ghillie suit. Boy, does this look like a mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I decided to dye it up. I don't know why, but if you dye the top part, you see how it made those yellow? Now, if we actually go into the inventory and re-dye those uh, pieces, where is it? Blue? You still get a little bit of the yellow. Let's go like that and see. It still has like yellow tinged on the <laughs> on the ends there. Maybe that does look a little bit better. But it kind of does look like a mess when you dye it. It looks better, I think, when it was all one color. But uh, it's pretty cool. Let's see if it matches with the chieftain hat. Oh, baby, look, we look. Oh, man, this is like a disaster. This is like a happy accident. Uh, except it's not quite as happy as I'd have liked. It is really cool looking, though. I think it's fun. Um, and it does help out with the heat. I think in this area, especially, if we take this, you can see right there, we got our hot icon right over there in the lower left. And then if we squirt on all of our ghillie stuff and things, we got no hot icon. So pretty cool. And let's look at the face. <laughs> Tiny face too big. He looks like he has one of those masks on from like when people at the airports and stuff and they're like afraid of getting germs when germs are really good for you because they help you to build up immunities. Well, not all germs, but sometimes germs. That's what it looks like. He's something like a doctor. And my hairstyle looks so great. I'm like rocking out with my blue hair color on, man. Oh yeah, that's what's up. What does it look like if I just do... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Where's my pants? Where'd my pants go? Oh, look at Tiny. He's got his new haircut. Oh, man. I look like I'm ready for some sort of rock concert, maybe, or something. And also possibly being a doctor. <laughs> and that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentle peeps. Look, you can't even see me. Because I got my ghillie suit on and I totally matched with stuff behind me so I was invisible. So yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. I had a really good time building the mock-up for, for the bedroom and playing around the ghillie suit today. I hope you guys had fun, too. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and show your support. Feel free to share your favorite as you see fit. Mm, may the stuff and things be with you.